Hello YouTubes and welcome to yet another Fireworks Mania devlog. If you're new to my channel, I'm building a fireworks simulator game while having a wife, two kids, a full-time day job and a dog. Aww. It all started around New Year's Eve 2019 when my oldest son asked me to help him find a fireworks simulator. We couldn't really find any so I was like, hmm, maybe I can build this. Here on my YouTube channel you will find devlogs and live streams documenting my journey all the way from day one and the early prototypes to present time which is post steam release where I keep updating and evolving the game in close dialogue with the community around it. So if you think a fireworks simulator game like fireworks mania sounds fun and you like watching devlogs of how it's being made, well you come to the right place. So as usual, coffee is ready, it's Monday, I'm not at work because it's Easter this week, I have been doing some other stuff um, earlier today, but it's uh, around 4 o'clock and I uh, will start up on this week's first stuff. Usually I say what I'm about to do, but right now there's actually a bunch of stuff I can work into, so I don't want to say right now what I'm going to work at because I don't know at this point what I will cut to in a moment. So uh, let's see what happens. So today's Saturday and I'm pretty far behind because I'm still working on this devlog and haven't done too much on the game. The reason is, as I mentioned in the beginning, it's Easter so I've done a lot of other stuff in the garden for instance and haven't made that much progress on the game. Sorry, yet another devlog without super much progress in on the game itself. Anyway, I managed to do something at least, so let me just quickly show you that. So the first thing I fixed was something that has been annoying me for quite a while and that is in here in the inventory because previously when you click something here and clicked away this highlighted here the orange um, highlight selection indicator here was kind of removed when I clicked on some other stuff but that's fixed now so you can see both the tabs here in the top and also the bottom tier stays no matter what I click here and I go back and it stays selected. It might not seem like a big deal but it's actually not that easy to do and I am um, very happy with it now so I can kind of uh, relax and don't be annoyed by these button losing their highlight indicator once you click something. I still think we have a problem here when I click uh, save for instance yeah you can see it highlights it goes away so I need to do the same thing for these buttons but they work a little different so anyway I'll fix it but um, at least these buttons are now fixed so the other thing I fixed was actually a small thing but have a pretty big impact I think on the experience of playing the game so that was adding a sound to the eraser tool Pretty nice, right? And this sound is actually made by myself. So let me show you how I made this sound just because I haven't done a lot of this game and I need to show you something in this devlog. So at least I think it could be a little fun to see how I made this sound. So what I did is that I opened Audacity, then I recorded myself doing this drop sound that I can do. Yes, I look like an idiot, but but the sound is pretty cool. So if we take one, for instance, this one, mm -hmm. we delete. Oops, we delete this one. I'm not a Audacity expert, so bear with me and let me zoom in a little here. So here we have the sound. So that's it. So what I did was I amplified it a little. I need to select everything. I amplified it like that, louder, and then I reversed it. I can't remember if I speed it up or speed it up or the other one was kind of faster. But anyway, that is how the sound was made. So this is how the Erasers tool sound is made right now. It might change in the future, I don't know. But as of now, this is the sound and this is the one that will go out on the experimental branch this week. And 
And due to the lack of content in this devlog, I also have some other thing I want to put in here. Because uh, I actually get a lot of questions or I sense a lot of confusion about this experimental branch. The thing is, on Steam you can switch between branches. Um, that's basically just you as a player switching between different versions of a game. Most games only have one version and you don't have to think about it. But a lot of uh, early access games and also other games that are actually released, like Fireworks Mania, you can switch branches sometimes to, I call it experimental, but it could also be called beta or it could be called testing out stuff. I don't know, it could be called anything, that doesn't really matter. But I refer to it as experimental branch. And when you switch to this branch, you are telling Steam to get the game from another place, you could say. And this other branch, as I call it, or as Steam calls it, I'm pushing updates to that much more frequently. Currently, I'm actually doing it once a week. I have done that for the past four weeks now, I think, um, with tiny small changes. It is experimental, so that also means that it's not fully ready and it have box and it's, you know, it's in progress stuff. So stuff might change, some stuff might go away and uh, stuff like that. But the ones of you who want to be kind of first movers and help testing out these things and provide feedback and box to me when you find it in the experimental branch, you can do this by switching to this experimental branch. So the experimental branch is basically just an open beta, you could say, for testing out the latest and greatest things coming to Fireworks Mania. So hope we get that cleared out now so everybody knows what this experimental branch is. So that's it for this devlog. Check out some of these uh, videos that I will show here somewhere in a moment um, while waiting for the next devlog or switch to the experimental branch to test out the latest and greatest stuff for Fireworks Mania. See you in the next video. Bye.